welcome to the simplest explanation of facade so what is facade why we need facade and how to implement our own facade we are going to cover these three topics in this episode but what exactly facade is so it is just like a wrapper around non-static function to a static function this means you can call a non-static function just like you call a static function if you're not getting this let me explain you so suppose we have a cache and we are going to set the cache with a name as Sarthak and like this and then I'm going to get cache get name so what about this is it going to work obviously it is going to work I am on web.php file so if I go here refresh this page Sarthak is here that's cool and this shows that set is a non-static function but if you have little bit idea about Laravel or if you have used it you probably have seen that you can call the same function just like this and that time you need to use cache facade and this is not file system we need to use cache facade and that will be like this and this is going to work absolutely fine so if I go refresh this page yes exactly the same result so what exactly the type of this set and get function is is it a static function or a non static function to have an idea about this let's go to cache repository so I will say cache repository and now here you can see at the line 227 I have a set which is a non static function similarly you can search for get and you can see get again is a non static function so how this facade is going to call a non static function just like a static function so that's so that happened because of facade so facade is facade looks like a simple class which is going to extend the base facade of Laravel container or we can say core Laravel not container and then it just have a one function protected static function called get facade accessor where we are giving the facade name uh, where we are giving the uh, binding name so this is the facade and why we need facade because this implementation looks very easy and very clean and also you don't have to worry about how you can initialize any class and that's the pain point but by using facade everything is taken care by Laravel and the service container so we know what is facade non static function to static function uh, why we need it uh, because it's so clean and it can resolve with the dependencies and also it is very easy to test let's implement our own facade which is going to look similar to the facade which is we have seen here so for that for implementing our own facade I'm going to create a class called fish and this fish have a function called swim so return swimming another function called eat and here we are saying eating and how we can create the facade for it hmm that's a challenging part but let's see how we call this swim and eat it's very easy we need to say fish is equal to new fish and then we call fish and swim this is the normal way yeah swimming because this fish class doesn't have any dependencies so it's look very clean but when we have lots of dependencies like new other class then that class also require new some other class then it will become painful so now what I am going to do I am going to bind this with our container so I will say whenever I call fish you need to give me the 
fish class so return new fish and you know what is container how to bind these things so let's create our own facade very easy let's say a new class called fish facade and here I'm going to use a magic function which is called call static so this will have two arguments like name and args that means argument and it is a static function okay so first thing I am going to die dump name and we will see how this is going to work so if I say fish facade and call any random function which is obviously not available and function it doesn't matter okay so what is the result we, because we have used this magic function whenever we are calling any static function which is not available on this class it will call this function and this function has this name which is actually the any random function literal so if i go refresh this page yeah any random functions there this is because we have die dump name here so if we want to say fish facade and swim like this so if i refresh we get the swim that means here we can access that function name it's now becoming very easy because now we can say return app make and we are calling or we are resolving this fish class from the container not directly because we are uh, we want this to be implemented one time only if we have various dependencies so now we have resolved this fish and then we call that function on this fish class so look at this we are trying to access this fish class statically but behind the scene we are calling this as a non-statically so if i go refresh this page hmm, it is not there because we need to die dump it so die dump refresh this page swimming is there yeah very cool this means now it is becoming general so we have two functions swim and eat we can simply call eat function also so refresh and eating is there so whatever the number of functions you have you can easily call on this facade so this is the simplest explanation of facade but i told you that we need to create a general facade which just look like this okay so let's create another class another class simple called bike bike has a simple function called start and i'm going to return starting hmm let's bind this also to the container so app bind whenever i am calling bind i will get new and that has to be return new bike yeah this is again binded and if we want we can create a simple facade for bike facade also like this but i want to make general facade so that i don't have to write this static function call static magic function again and again so here i will create a class called facade and i will move this magic function from here to this class and now let's extend our base facade class now instead of this fish i am going to create a function here function uh, like this and this function name is get facade accessor and this time i am going to give a string which is going to resolved from the container so for the fish facade the accessor is fish similarly for this bike facade the accessor is bike and this accessor is actually the string we have binded to the service container so look at this it is looking just like we have cache facade protected static function get facade so make it protected i think and 
protected static i want this to be same as this that's why i am making it protected static and that has to be static actually so this is looking very similar to this cache facade class now let's implement this so instead of hard coding this i want to get the accessor name via get accessor so static get facade accessor and let's create a dummy function so that it can overwrite so get facade accessor and not going to implement anything okay so we have done this and this has to be again protected protected static so whenever we are calling like this facade eat it will go to fish facade it will say okay eat function is not there that means i need to go to call static magic function it will say okay resolve from the accessor which is fish in this case and then call that function this means if i go to here eating is there if i say swim swimming is there also if i try to access bike facade and i will say start and we are getting this error because we have not extended our base facade so extends facade and now if i go refresh this page starting is there so this is how you can see it is very easy to create your own facade but laravel has given you everything for uh, creating the facade very easily so you can see our facade is looking similar to the laravel facade and this is how you can create your own facade i think you got this idea how facade is going to work so let's again recap everything i have a class called fish we have a function non-static function swim and eat then i'm binding that fish class to the container so that i don't have to initialize this fish class again and again then i have a bike class which having a non-static function called start again i'm binding this bike class to the service container then i have a base facade class which is having a magic function called static magic function and a protected static function called get accessor get facade accessor get facade accessor is overwritten in every facade class we have created like fish facade is overwriting this get facade accessor which is returning this fish similar bike facade is returning bike so on this base facade class we get the facade accessor and then we are resolving it from the container app make means resolving we are fetching from the container and then calling the function uh, we are trying to access so this is how you can call bike facade start and this start function is actually not inside facade not inside base facade it is inside a simple class and it's a non-static function so i think you got how facade created what is facade and if you have any question you can email me message me anywhere it's lots of platforms are there and we will meet in the next episode somewhere to learn more about laravel till then goodbye